This episode is brought to you by IVP. Before we faithfully engage in our communities, how do we need to first disrupt ourselves? Check out the newest season of the Disruptors podcast hosted by Caitlin Chess through her compelling conversations with guests such as Tyler Burns, Andy Kolber, Walter Kim, and many more. Chess unpacks the ways that Christians need to prepare themselves spiritually, emotionally, and relationally in order to effectively disrupt the church in the world. Watch the Disruptors on the IVP YouTube channel or listen on your favorite streaming platform. This is IVP. Listening to Get in the Word with Truth Table. Presented by Inner Varsity Press. The Daily Audio Bible Podcast, read by Dr. Christina Edmondson and Akemeni Uwan. Let's get in the Word, and may the Word get in us. Open our eyes, that we may behold wonderful things in your Word. Old Testament reading, Numbers chapter 33, verses 29 through Numbers chapter 34. Numbers chapter 33, starting at verse 29. They traveled from Mithka and camped in Hashmona. They traveled from Hashmona and camped in Moseroth. They traveled from Moseroth and camped in Bene Jakan. They traveled from Bene Jakan and camped at Hor Hagidad. They traveled from Hor Hagidad and camped in Jothbatha. They traveled from Jothbatha and camped in Abrona. They traveled from Abrona and camped at Ezion Geber. They traveled from Ezion Geber and camped in the wilderness of Zin, that is Kadesh. Wanderings from Kadesh to Moab. They traveled from Kadesh and camped at Mount Hor at the edge of the land of Edom. Aaron the priest ascended Mount Hor at the command of the Lord, and he died there in the fortieth year after the Israelites had come out of the land of Egypt on the first day of the fifth month. Now Aaron was one hundred and twenty-three years old when he died on Mount Hor. The king of Arad, the Canaanite king, who lived in the south of the land of Canaan, heard about the approach of the Israelites. They traveled from Mount Hor and camped in Zalmona. They traveled from Zalmona and camped in Punan. They traveled from Punan and camped in Oboth. They traveled from Oboth and camped in Ai Abarim on the border of Moab. They traveled from Nim and camped in Dibon Gad. They traveled from Dibon Gad and camped in Almon Diblatayim. They traveled from Almon Diblatayim and camped in the mounts of Abarim before Nebo. They traveled from the mountains of Abarim and camped in the Rift Valley Plains by Moab along the Jordan River across from Jericho. They camped by the Jordan from Beth Jesimoth as far as Abel Shittim in the Rift Valley Plains of Moab at the border of Canaan. The Lord spoke to Moses in the Rift Valley Plains of Moab along the Jordan across from Jericho. He said, Speak to the Israelites and tell them, When you have crossed the Jordan into the land of Canaan, you must drive out all the inhabitants of the land before you, destroy all their carved images, all their molten images, and demolish their high places. You must dispossess the inhabitants of the land and live in it, for I have given you the land to possess it. You must divide the land by lot for an inheritance among your families. To a larger group, you must give a larger inheritance, and to a smaller group, you must give a smaller inheritance. Everyone's inheritance must be in the place where his lot falls. You must inherit according to your ancestral tribes. But if you do not drive out the inhabitants of the land before you, then those whom you allow to remain will be irritants in your eyes and thorns in your side and will cause you trouble in the land where you will be living. And what I intended to do to them, I will do to you. Numbers chapter 34, the southern border of the land. 
Then the Lord spoke to Moses, Give these instructions to the Israelites and tell them, When you enter Canaan, the land that has been assigned to you as an inheritance, the land of Canaan with its borders, your southern border will extend from the wilderness of Zin along the Edomite border, and your southern border will run eastward to the extremity of the Salt Sea. And then the border will turn from the south to the Scorpion Ascent, continue to Zin, and then its direction will be from the south to Kadesh Barnea. Then it will go to Hazar Adar and pass over to Asmon. There the border will turn from Asmon to the stream of Egypt, and then its direction is to the sea, the western border of the land. And for a western border, you will have the great sea. This will be your western border, the northern border of the land. And this will be your northern border. From the great sea, you will draw a line to Mount Hor. From Mount Hor, you will draw a line to Lebo Hamath. And the direction of the border will be to Zerat. The border will continue to Ziphron, and its direction will be to Hazar Enon. This will be your northern border, the eastern border of the land. For your eastern border, you will draw a line from Hazar Enon to Shephem. The border will run down from Shephem to Ribla on the east side of Ain, and a border will descend and reach the eastern side of the Sea of Kinnereth. Then a border will continue down the Jordan River, and its direction will be to the Salt Sea. This will be your land by its borders that surround it. Then Moses commanded the Israelites, This is the land that you will inherit by lot, which the Lord has commanded to be given to the nine and a half tribes, because the tribe of the Reubenites by their families, the tribe of the Gadites by their families, and the half tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance. The two and a half tribes have received their inheritance on this side of the Jordan, east of Jericho, toward the sunrise. Appointed Officials The Lord said to Moses, These are the names of the men who are to allocate the land to you as inheritance. Eliezer the priest and Joshua son of Nun. You must take one leader from every tribe to assist in allocating the land as an inheritance. These are the names of the men from the tribe of Judah, Caleb son of Jephunneh, from the tribe of the Simeonites, Shemuel son of Amihud, from the tribe of Benjamin, Elidad son of Kislon, and from the tribe of the Danites, a leader, Buki son of Jogli. From the Josephites, Haniel, son of Ephod, a leader from the tribe of Manasseh. From the tribe of the Ephraimites, a leader, Kemuel, son of Shiftan. From the tribe of the Zebulonites, a leader, Elizaphan, son of Barnach. From the tribe of the Ishakarites, a leader, Paltil, son of Azan. From the tribe of the Asherites, a leader, Ahihud, son of Shalomi. And from the tribe of the Naphtalites, a leader, Padahil, son of Amihud. These are the ones whom the Lord commanded to divide up the inheritance among the Israelites in the land of Canaan. Your word is true. New Testament reading, Matthew chapter 15, verses 21 through 28. A Canaanite woman's faith. After going out from there, Jesus went to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman from that area came and cried out, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is horribly demon-possessed. But he did not answer her a word. Then his disciples came and begged him, Send her away, because she keeps on crying out after us. So he answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and bowed down before him and said, Lord, help me. It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs, he said. Yes, Lord, she replied. But even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, your faith is great. Let what you want be done for you. And her daughter was healed from that hour. This is the word of God for the people of God. May God add a blessing to the reading of his word. Let us go boldly to God's throne of grace. God, thank you. Thank you for your word, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for the ways that you are just so specific about our inheritance, oh God, and who is to lead and how they ought to lead, oh God. And thank you, oh God, for just even just the redemption and the redemptive connection even in this this reading today, oh Lord God, between you commanding the Israelites to drive out the Canaanites and then also this testimony of this Canaanite woman who's begging Jesus uh, to heal her daughter, oh God, of demon possession, oh God, and being met with a seemingly resistance or and having to persist in her faith and stunning Jesus. Would we be a people 
who has such deep faith in Jesus, not so much about the size, because we know it's faith of a mustard seed that pleases you, O oh God, but that we would persist in faith, O oh God, like no matter what, we would have a posture of, I will not leave your presence until you bless me. Would you give us, O oh God, that wrestling spirit, O oh God, that Jacob had, O oh God? Would you give us persistent spirit, O oh God, that this Canaanite woman demonstrated, O oh God, this persistent faith to keep asking, O oh God, that even the crumbs, Lord, will even take the crumbs, O oh God, and that we, O oh God, would stun Jesus with our faith, O oh God. So would you help us, O oh God? Would you give us a greater portion of faith? Would you help us to persist during these perilous times, O oh Lord God? These are very, very hard and dark days that we're going through, O oh God, and, and many people are losing faith, but would you hold us close, O oh God? Would you keep us close in your bosom, O oh God, and reassure us, O oh God, that you are with us? God, I pray all of this in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Amen. We pray this time of getting the word with Truth Table has encouraged us all to not only be hearers of God's word, but doers. Share your reflections on these scriptures with us on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag get in the word and hashtag Truth's Table. Saints, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. Go with God. Get in the Word with Truth's Table is a production of InterVarsity Press. For 75 years, IVP has created and published resources that deepen lives for Christ to engage the university, church, and the world. Visit ivpress.com for more information. Our Bible reading plan is from biblestudytogether.com, and the Bible version is the new English translation used by permission. Sound engineering is from Pottery Studios, and our executive producer is Helen Lee. Yeah.